Good morning, folks. My name's John. Uh, I'm starting a channel on uh, restoring old stuff, tools, equipment, any nice little stuff that I like. Uh, and starting out this video, this is my first one on this. Uh, this is my 61 Cushman model 935 golf cart, also called a golfster. And some people refer to it as the shark nose golf cart. Uh, one of the most unique golf carts that's ever come out from the factory. It came out with a two cylinder opposed overhead valve engine, which is the same engine that's used in the Trucksters. And the first year, the 61, had the uh, Truckster transmission, the three speed transmission. The only difference is the factory uh, took the parts out for second and third gear, so you had first and reverse in this. Uh, this one is almost finished now. I just wanted to give you a little rundown on it. The frame, the frame for the windshield was built by my friend Steve who works out of this shop occasionally. Uh, this shop I rent a space here. It's kind of junky right now, but I don't care. Uh, this is a very unique golf cart now because it no longer has that Cushman engine in it. It has a Honda Goldwing 1100 engine. And it uh, runs really nice. Really a sweet running golf cart. Put this hood back down. Uh, I think I'll try to start it up. I haven't started for a couple of weeks. See what happens. And, okay. Yep, it starts. Okay, maybe. Well, somehow I managed to shut the computer off as I was starting the golf cart. Uh, sorry about that. I want to tell you a little more about it. These are kind of a unique uh, frame on these things. The first year, the 61, had a three piece frame. The 62 and a three and fours had a two piece frame. Uh, when I say three piece on here, it's got the main frame, it's got a center frame, the engine and transmission bolted to, and had a third frame for the uh, rear end. Now I'm gonna show you that now. If I can get this seat out here, it's stuck again. Okay. Yeah, stick down. Well, let's just say I'll show it later. As you can see we've got tail lights. These are I like these lights. Red, white, and blue. But when they come on, they're just red. The rear end of this, originally the first year had a Chelsea, a real tiny little Chelsea. They used a T96 transmission that was uh, just stripped out of uh, first, uh, second and third gear, just had first reverse. <coughs> then after that, they went to the Truckster uh, rear end and they made their own one-speed transmission with uh, reverse. But this one, to handle that uh, golf, I mean golf, I'm sorry, the Goldwing engine, they said they're offset quite a bit, so I had to have a, a rear end cut down. I didn't know which one I wanted. And I, made, I picked the wrong one. I picked the uh, MG Midget rear end. It's a uh, 
it was actually perfect on the left side, didn't have to be cut down. The right side needed to be uh, shortened about eight inches. The only problem with it is, it sounds like a perfect setup. It's small, they're, they're drop out rear end, they're a great rear end. The problem is the axle tubes are tapered. So the machine shop, Lane Brothers in Kansas City, did the work on it for me. They had never done one before, and they are the premier shop in Kansas City. A better view of this. Uh, and it was very expensive. They had to make an adapter to fit the tubes. So it's very expensive. <clears throat> but it, it works nice. Uh, the t wheel on the front is uh, Tramp, uh, let's see, Tramp Spitfire wheel. And those uh, wheel pattern is actually the same as the uh, Cushman, which is uh, four on uh, three and three quarter, instead of four on four, like most golf carts. Uh, the rear end, of course now, since it has the, uh, the MG Midget rear end, it has a four on four, so golf cart wheels fit. And I've got road tires on it. Uh, this front tire, or the wheel is bent, so I'm ordering a new, it's a 13, I'm ordering a new 12 inch from Dennis Carpenter and a different tire, and it'll bolt right up. Uh, I guess that's about everything for right now. I don't have it finished yet. It'll be finished for long. Uh, my next video will be about uh, restoring an old 40s Art Deco fan, beautiful fan. I bought it a few years ago, never did anything with it. So uh, probably this week I'm going to get started on a video and let people see what it's going to take to restore it and get it going. And then there'll be several more videos of uh, restoring items. And so I guess that's about it for right now. And I apologize for my speaking voice, which is pretty lousy, but it's all I got. And for the shaky video, I'm an old man. I shake, it's what we do, and complain. Okay, folks, I uh, hope you enjoy this. If you have any uh, questions, just let me know. Uh, maybe somebody wants to put a Goldwing engine in uh, one of these. Uh, if you do, be sure to use a 1500 engine out of an Aspen Cade because they have reverse. Yeah, that's right, I don't have reverse yet. I have Fred Flintstone reverse. Uh, however, I've got an idea and I'll uh, make a video on that later. Well, have a good day, goodbye. So one thing I forgot to say is, uh, folks, I don't uh, need you to uh, donate money for me to buy more projects. Uh, so just uh, the one thing you can do that help, if you like the video that I'm going to make, uh, just uh, like, share, and subscribe. That way, if I get my 1,000 subscribers, my 4,000 views, I can apply to, uh, for monetization. And that would help buy more projects. Uh, and that's about all i got to say. Thank you.